Hey, so are you curious about all the new building that's going on in Queen Creek? With Gilbert's prices shooting up, Queen Creek may definitely be a good fit for your family. And in this video, we're gonna cover every new build community and I'll give the pricing as well as a few pros and cons about each of the areas. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up? If it's your first time here, I have a ton of info on my channel about making the move to Arizona. And if it's something you're interested in pursuing, my info is below. I really work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you're binge watching at 5 a.m., I will respond to you. And please make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna share with you my favorite community here in Queen Creek. And it actually has availability today. And I just got two of my clients into this community last week. So stay tuned and I'll tell you about that. So we're gonna start from the west and head out east. And the one thing you will notice is that homes get a bit more expensive as you push west towards Gilbert because that location's a bit more built up. It's more in demand. Plus it's closer to the 202 Expressway to get to the other areas of the valley, especially downtown Phoenix, downtown Scottsdale. So the first community on our list is Sonterra. It's built by VIP homes and they're known for their million dollar homes in the area that residents can completely customize. Unlike 95% of the other builders where you have to go in and kind of choose their floor plans and their options. You can even bring floor plans to them. You can bring custom floor plans and they'll build your home. This community sits just south of the Seville, which is a golf club community. And you can learn more about the Seville here. And it's close to other gated communities that have $1 million and up to $4 million homes within them. The area around Santerra feels a bit rural and south. And you'll notice a lot of large horse properties around, but you still have easy access to shopping and civilization nearby on Higley. But one good thing is that you don't have really heavy traffic. Prices for these one-story homes range from 800,000 upwards to 1.2 million, and the lot sizes are definitely gonna be what you're looking for if you like privacy. One mile east and about three miles north sits a Taylor Morrison community, which is called Legato. This is probably the best new build location as it's right on the edge of Queen Creek's western border with easy access to Gilbert, and it's about 10 minutes away from the 202. So what I like about this location is its proximity to the Mansell Carter Oasis Park, and it's a short three-mile trek to the Gilbert Regional Park. So you're sandwiched right in between those. Home Depot's nearby, and actually it's not a bad drive to the Queen Creek Marketplace at about two and a half miles away. Now that I think about it, it has the best of both worlds, Gilbert and Queen Creek. Also right across the street sits the Queen Creek Taco Shack. This is a fun outdoor dining experience where the parents can eat or grab a drink at the outdoor bar and the kids can go get into trouble with sand, water, and fire pits. Hopefully not too much trouble. Another bonus is there's a disc golf course near here and it's right next to the Queen Creek Wash for those family bike rides. I mean, right next to it. Homes here start in the mid 400s. They go all the way up to the 700s. And by the time you put in upgrades and lot premiums, you could be 20% over those totals real quick. Since we're talking about Taylor Morrison, we might as well go to the next community. They have quite a bit of new build communities here in Queen Creek, Taylor Morrison does. And so if you just head over one mile to the east, you have Victoria Heights. So this community has been building since 2011. And they have a few homes left in their Discovery Collection, and these homes range from about $375,000 upwards to $425,000. The location is pretty stellar, but it's also very busy as it sits next to the Queen Creek Marketplace. This would be great if you wanted a location where you can walk to restaurants, a movie theater, or even Trader Joe's. Additionally, the west side of the community borders the Queen Creek Wash, and you have a shortcut to Mansell Carter Oasis Park without crossing any busy intersections if you go to the west of the community. There's a luxury apartment complex that sits next to Victoria, so that contributes a bit to the traffic. And there's also some older homes that sit on Ocotillo and that contributes a bit to the traffic. Now head a mile and a half south and things start to get rural again. The community of White Wing at Whisper Ranch is a breathtaking Toll Brothers community that features the best of the Toll Brothers estate properties. These are single story homes starting in about the low 800s and currently they have two model homes for sale just north of the $2 million mark. Check out my video on those. It's a beautiful community that really has a custom community feel and the homes are just redonkulous. If I could afford to live here, I would. It's rural enough for quiet living, but it's close enough to shopping and entertainment. The clubhouse is super cool, and the outdoor TVs with the fire pits, the bocce ball courts, and the dog park make a real nice touch in this community center. 
The lots here, like Sunterra, are larger, so as you can see, if you want a bit of privacy, you're gonna have to pay for it. One Mile East is another Toll Brothers community that is brand new, and the homes here, compared to White Wing at Whisper Ranch, are a touch more affordable. White Wing by Toll Brothers is actually the estate series and the most expensive in the Toll Brothers collection. Bridal Ranch is a larger home community, but not quite in the White Wing series. More info on Bridal Ranch here. Bridal Ranch home prices start in the low 700s, and they have some extended lots on the south section that can have RV garages or detached casitas built onto the properties. The lot premiums here, though, are pretty hefty. They start at $110,000 just for the right to that particular lot. So this would be on top of your base price if you were to get one of these premium lots. Wowzers! The community will feature a central park with some ramadas, a fire pit with some premium seating, and it'll also feature patio furniture along with horseshoes and even a cornhole set. You heard that right, cornhole. And it looks like there's gonna be a playground structure for kids. I'm not sure if you were looking forward to that or not. Across the street from Bridal Ranch is the Horseshoe Park and Equestrian Center, the Queen Creek Botanical Gardens, and the future home of Fat Cats as well as a Fry's Marketplace. Expect there to be a bit more road noise here as it sits next to Ellsworth, and it's going to get a bit busier with these businesses opening across the street, especially the Fry's Marketplace and the Fat Cats. But hey, you don't have to go far to shop or to play some mini golf or arcades, right? Just to the east and across Ellsworth is Bolero Estates. This is a community featuring Elliott Homes and they consist of half acre lots with one story plans ranging from 2,800 to 3,500 square feet. The prices here range from 515 upwards to 575 plus all the upgrades. In this community, you can get a detached casita as well as an RV garage too. It's very similar to Bridal Ranch, but Bridal Ranch is gonna be a bit more luxurious at the higher price point. Both of these locations are gonna have a bit of road noise and both aren't far from downtown Queen Creek. And they are very close to Santan Flat, which is an awesome restaurant with outdoor live country music every single weekend. And sometimes even during the week. Additionally, you're not far from the hiking since Santan Mountain sits just to the south. Go climb that mountain. Oh boy, if you leave Bolero Estates, you head north on Ellsworth, you make a quick ride on Cloud and in less than two miles, you'll run into yet another Toll Brothers communities. That's right, three Toll Brothers communities are being built in Queen Creek, and this third one is called Kaleida. It features homes that are just slightly smaller than Bridal Ranch, and it's gonna include about 93 home sites in this quaint community. Prices are a bit less expensive than Bridal Ranch. They're gonna start in the low to mid 600s, and what's unique about this community is the fact that you can add basements or attached casitas. The home site started about 10,500 square feet, so they're a bit smaller than Bridal Ranch's 13,000 square foot lots. The main park will feature an outdoor fireplace as well as a playground structure of some type for kids. And it still feels a bit rural on this particular road. Just down the street, there's Schnepp Farms and the Olive Mill. Schnepp's Farms is a great place for family fun and a ton of entertainment. While the Olive Mill is more of a nice outdoor restaurant with an indoor grocery shopping experience for unique, kind of expensive items, kind of like a specialty grocery store. As you can imagine, there's a lot of stuff related to olives here. You can even get a good pizza here, and it also has a cute little coffee shop inside. Now, if you go a bit further south as well as east, you'll hit Harvest at Queen Creek. This is a mega planned community, let's call it mega master planned community, and it's aimed at new families. It features a central park with two community pools and will feature family-friendly activities. There's HOA events that will be held here once the community is up and running and a ton of walking trails within the community as well. There are multiple builders here with prices starting in the upper 300s through to about $700,000. It's looking to be super awesome. My favorite builder here is David Weekly with their massive single story floor plans. And this also happens to be the most expensive, which is probably why I like it, right? The location of Harvest is a bit out there, though. To get to the Queen Creek Marketplace and downtown Queen Creek, you're looking at about a 15-minute drive. If traffic is backed up, it could take a touch longer. The length of time it takes to get to the Loop 202 is usually what deters my buyers from pulling the trigger in this community. So if you do have to travel for work, just know you're going to have a little bit of a drive ahead of you to get to the 202. 
if you travel north on Meridian, you're going to hit another Taylor Morrison community, which has some Toll Brothers houses sprinkled in there as well, and it's called Meridian. This is a large master plan community that features homes similar to Harvest, with a central pool and a park that features actually a community garden where residents can plant their own food. The local elementary school is also here, right near the central park, making things very easy for new families. The location here is decent as it sits close to downtown Queen Creek. It's just a touch east. There's also Queen Creek's only 55 community, which is called Ovation at Meridian, and that sits on the east side of the neighborhood in a gated section. Homes in Meridian range from 1,700 to about 2,300 square feet, and they have a price point of 350, upwards to $400,000, making it a bit more affordable. Sitting directly across Ocotillo lies another new build community. Don't worry, we have a few more to go, but we're Almost there. Spur Cross is the name of this master plan community and it features a variety of builders such as Marike, Richmond American, and these two home builders actually have RV garages, which is pretty sweet. Homes by Marike can get up into the 900s if you start adding all the upgrades. They have some really nice single story floor plans, but other home builders start in the 400s. It features a main community pool with a park and other parks scattered within the neighborhood, and I just wish the pool had a bit more bling to it. It feels more like a pool at a luxury apartment complex. I hear they may be adding another one, but I can't be sure about that. The location's pretty solid. I feel if you go any further east, you start to get into the boonies. Some people might like that, though. Now heading back west towards the Queen Creek Marketplace, we run into Chrisman Meadows. This is another community by VIP Homes, and it features some nice estately homes here starting in the 500s. There's just under 50 lots and they're a bit larger as well at about 12,000 square feet. From what I can see, there are a few left. Homes here range from single stories at 2,220 square feet to a 3,300 square foot two-story model. If you're looking for that large lot within the city limits, this would be a good choice for you. Next to this community and just west is Nauvoo Station. This is a community that features Richmond American and Lennar homes. And as of now, Lennar is the only one with availability, but it's a lottery only. So send in your approval and if they draw your name, you get to choose. But you don't always get the choice of what you want exactly. They may have a plan pre-specified and that's what you have to go with on that particular lot that they're releasing. This is what Lennar is known for, the builder Lennar. And I'm personally just not a fan of lotteries. On a side note, Taylor Morrison also does this with most of their communities as well. Prices in Nauvoo Station start in the mid 300s and they go into the mid 400s. They range from 1,700 square feet to 2,600 square feet. And one thing to note is that this community borders the train tracks. That's right, I should say single track. There's one single track and for some reason there's a train that runs through it at about 4 a.m. every night and another one in the afternoon. It's actually not that bad, it's a little noisy. You'll notice a few neighborhoods that border the tracks ending in station within Queen Creek and Gilbert. You got Queen Creek Station, Nauvoo Station, Cooley Station, I think that's it. At Nauvoo Station, the area is definitely busy around it. It seems there's always traffic, so if you're looking to be in the heart of Queen Creek, this is as close as you're gonna get to it in a new build. There are a few parks in Nauvoo Station and a school is gonna be built in that neighborhood as well. It'll probably be an elementary school. So if you head a bit north on Ellsworth, you'll hit a community called Terravella, which is by, yet again, Taylor Morrison. It's hard to not throw a rock into a Taylor Morrison community here, as you can see. This community has some homes priced from the 400s through to the upper 600s, and the size is gonna be 1,870 square feet on upwards to 3,500 square feet. The neighborhood itself has some great views of the Superstition Mountains, but traffic here can get a bit congested on Ellsworth and noisy for sure. Hopefully they'll alleviate that soon. The community features parks in each of the neighborhoods and picnic areas. It's gonna have a few pickleball courts as well. Uh, there aren't any pools or lakes here. So right now it just kind of seems like it's uh, just to the north one block is Gateway Quarter. This neighborhood feels the same as Terravella in my opinion and I kind of get them confused when I'm driving by. It's gonna feature homes by Shea and Richmond American. The estate collection by Richmond American is the only neighborhood left, and these start in the low 500s, and they range from 2,500 to 2,900 square feet. And one cool feature with these homes is you can get an RV garage in addition to your garage garage. 
There's a large central park here with a half court basketball court as well as some walking trails, but that's kind of about it. It feels a little empty not having any lakes or really huge green spaces, but once the trees grow in a bit in this neighborhood and in the previous neighborhood I talked about Terra Vella, it'll be a bit more mature and feel a little bit more finished. One important thing to note as well is Terra Vella and Gateway Quarter sit pretty much next to the Mesa Gateway Airport, uh, just to the southeast. So you will hear a bit of airport noise, but in my opinion, it's not that bad. The plus side is you're just north of the Queen Creek Marketplace for easy shopping and entertainment, and you have quick access to the 202 as well. Now we are almost done, but I do have one bonus neighborhood that I'm very excited to share with you, and that is Barney Farms. This community just broke ground and they're starting on the spec homes now, which are available for sale. Prices range from the 380s to the 560s as of now. And I hear that with every three homes they sell, they are raising the price. This neighborhood is gonna be Fulton Homes flagship community here in Arizona, and it'll feature a huge long lake for kayaking and small boating. It's gonna have an aquatic center, I believe with about two pools, a trail system, basketball courts, pickleball courts, sand volleyball, and bocce ball courts. These are all going to be at the Central Park. And this is going to have a boardwalk-like trail that runs along the lake. So it's really going to make it feel more like a long river. And the main park will feature enough entertainment to keep you coming back for more every day, every weekend, however often you get out. This is truly what Arizona neighborhoods are becoming with just a ton of amenities, outdoor living, and outdoor family enjoyment. Barney Farms is really where you want to be, in my opinion, if you're moving to Queen Creek and you have a family. And the best part about it is that they actually have availability right now. No waiting lists, no lottery. You can get a custom lot or you can get a spec home. And if you want to see a list of spec homes with the pricing, I have all that information. Please just reach out to me by calling or fill out the link in the description below. I'll email that to you if you don't want to quite call me. I understand. I'll send the price into you and we can get you uh, under contract if that's what you wanna do. So with prices going up every week, you can bet you'll make not only a smart move for your family, but also a wise investment. Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos on escaping to Arizona, just click that subscribe button to stay in the loop.